the 2017 South African Sports Awards. Uh, the nominees have been announced. The event is going to be hosted by Ekroleni at Emperor's Palace on the 12th of November. So the nominees, they were announced a little bit early on here on Morning Live in the 18 different categories. And up for the accolade of Sportswoman of the Year are two world champions in Casta Semenya and Kirsten McCann in athletics and rowing respectively, as well as a woman who has won cycling races around the world and a world championship of bronze medal during the adjudication period. We're now joined by Head of Communication for the hosting region, Ekroleni, Rojo Mo Ditswe. Mavimbela. You happy with that pronunciation? Perfect. And uh, Kirsten McCann, very good morning to the both of you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you very Thank much. You. Kirsten, I'm going to start with you. Congratulations uh, being nominated with Casta as well as Ashley. Thank you very much. It's a great honor being nominated for Sportswoman, especially alongside two wonderful sportswomen. Uh, it's not a very easy category though. No, not at all. I mean, it's really just an honor being nominated. I have huge respect for the two other women nominated. I mean, we've all seen them compete and participate, and they are excellent sportswomen. And you've made history yourself. We're going to speak a little bit about uh, the year that you've had. Uh, so, but before we do, uh, you guys have hosted sports awards before, the provincial awards and the Gauteng Sports Awards, but this is a different one. This is national sports awards. Yes, um, we're very excited to be part of this uh, um, uh, initiative. Uh, we recognize that uh, the brand value that it brings, um, the, the social cohesion that uh, nation, uh, that sports actually brings about. So as a city, we saw it fit to participate uh, with the National Sports Award for the next three years. And um, also, uh, we do quite a lot of sports development, uh, uh, given that uh, it, it actually en encompasses all the peoples of the, of the city, and also given that we are a developmental city. So to encourage our youth also to look up to the likes of Kirsten, who are nominated to, to actually perform at, uh, at those levels. You've seen what's happened in previous year at the South African Sports Awards. You've seen the shows that have been put on. Is is the city of Ekruleni ready to put on their best show? We have hosted big shows before uh, or big sports events before. Uh, for example, I'll mention that uh, we also a host city for SA, sports, um, SA Open, which is a global uh, a, a, a sports event, uh, and others. Uh, like, uh, for example, this weekend we are hosting the Oartambo Sonchini Games, which is a, a joint collaboration between uh, the Italians and, um, and the Oartambo Foundation. But we are, we are hosting those games. We've got high quality sports facilities. Um, uh, we've, we're developing from early childhood uh, 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 age. So we are growing the spots in the city to ensure that other than uh, developing the kid from a uh, primary education, we also balance with, uh, with the spots part. Well, you're sitting next to a lady who has inspired many young people and hopefully many young rowers. You made history in September by being the first South African woman to win a global rowing title at the World Championships. Just tell us a little bit about this year that you've had because, I mean, we come back from the Paralympic Games, huge, uh, Paralympic, Olympic Games in Rio, huge disappointment there. And then you just bounce back after that at the World Championships in the most spectacular fashion. I mean, last year was a huge disappointment at the Games, you said that correctly, and I just felt that I had serious unfinished business. I really was came off that with a lot of disappointment, working through that disappointment, just really fueled my, the fire inside me to come back and really put my name out there in terms of the world rowing. My coach, Roger Barrow, he said to me, you know, Chris, let's try and see if we can make you a world champion. And at first I thought, oh goodness, he really has good faith in me. But I mean, this year has been, we've worked really hard and worked really well together. And I came back um, and we just, yeah, I just suppose the biggest thing for me was I was really loving my rowing this year. We trained really hard. I mean, I think I can match it on our preparations of last year, training equally as hard, if not harder. And the results came and I was really enjoying what I was doing. So it made that a little bit easier to get up in the morning when you really love what you do. And I suppose the results this year have reflected that. It's also very different at the Olympic Games, two people in a boat, at World Championships. It's all about you, only you in the boat. Yes, I mean the single skull, often people say it's really difficult, but I've rowed the single skull since I started rowing and I have a particular love for the single. But like you say, I mean, if I don't pull the boat, goes nowhere. So, you know, it's, um, 
It is. It's a brutal boat class, but it's something quite special as well. What was it? Uh, what was it like to actually win that world title and to see all the accolades and the acknowledgement that's since come from it? You know, I think it's um, it's something I've always wanted to do is to win a world championship title, and so it was very special. I can't say it ever went through my mind uh, during the race because I was sticking very much to my own race plan. But towards the end, with about 100 meters to go, I did think to myself, right, I'm ready for this race to be over so I can win. <laughs> but obviously, coming through the finish line, it really was very cool. And I suppose also very good for rowing. It's, um, I mean, my personal achievements are important, but also for my coach and for rowing. It's just really good to be able to put us out there on the global map again. I think if there ever was a superstar rowing coach, it certainly would be one Roger Barrow, wouldn't it? Yes, definitely. I mean, he has, he's very dedicated and he puts in a lot of work and he's, he's got, a, I mean, he's, he's a tough taskmaster, but he really does, um, his athlete management and his coaching skills are pretty phenomenal. I know you're sitting listening intently to the achievements and to the work being put in by Kirsten and these are the kinds of role models that the city are going to be hosting come the 12th of November as you early on mentioned you know strange as a city to hosting huge superstars but how's the planning going for the awards? Uh, the, plan is go the plan is going very well um, we have uh, regular meetings with um, the, the task team uh, at National uh, we also have uh, an event, uh, a team that we've put together. So um, all, all systems are, are go. So we are very ready to host. It's going to be at Emperor's Palace. Uh, we're ready to receive all the, all the people coming regionally uh, and nationally. Um, so so we, it's all systems go for us. Oh, we're just we're ready to receive the people come through our airport, uh, our Tambo airport, uh, which, you know, it's proudly a guru lane as well. Uh, Kirsten's not going to be going through that airport, but she certainly is looking forward to, uh, to the awards ceremony. Uh, have you thought about a dress? Have you thought about what you're going to wear? How are you feeling about the awards coming up? Well, it's really exciting. I mean, often we in sports kit and very, you know, focused on making sure we're performing and not really always looking that good. So it's really exciting to be able to put on a beautiful dress. And so I suppose, I mean, I have started thinking of a dress to wear now that I've been announced as a finalist and so yeah I mean I was thinking I was having a look earlier what kind of dress do I wear so it's very exciting to get dressed and all glamorous and to see other sports stars also dressed up and out of their athletic attire. <laughs> and see them uh, how they actually clean up and having gone to the awards a couple of years our sports people in South Africa really do know how to clean up. Kirsten Rechomoditwe thank you so much for coming into studio and chatting to us about the 2017 South African Sports Awards. Now there's 18 different categories and there's one that you at home can actually vote for and that is the People's Choice category. Five different nominees, Luvo Manyonga, Wade Finney Cook, Cassis Semenya, Kajiso Rabada, and Chad Leclo. SMSs um, cost one rand fifty, and it's so easy for you actually to put in your vote. You just have the keyword sports followed by the letter of the person that you are hoping to vote for, and you SMS it to three two eight double one. Now, we're not just asking you to make your voice heard, but there's also an opportunity for you to win. They're giving away a tablet of the Department of Sports and Recreation every single week for the person that votes the most. And the winners are going to be announced at, on Sport at 10 on SABC1, Soccer La Duma on Saturdays and Sundays, as well as on Lesedi FM. And the voting winners are start, well, T minus 34 minutes, because in 34 minutes you'll be able to get through your SMSs and then the voting lines will be closing on the day of the awards ceremony. Who will you guys be voting for? Can I ask? Can I put you on the spot? Who would get your people's choice? Um, you know, we are very uh, integrated, so I cannot say now. I cannot really go and pick one, so I can say this person, uh, but my favorite choice personally would be Casta Semenya. Casta Semenya, and as the only woman amongst those uh, nominees, Kirsten, who would you put your vote behind? It's a tough choice, but Casa Semenya is definitely a firm favourite of mine, being a female and having achieved exceptionally. But also, I must say, Wade for Nikki is also quite a firm favourite. Sure, it's certainly going to be interesting to see who walks away with the people's choice. And it'll be by the vote of the South African public.